When should I take the MCAT? A common question we're asked here at Inspira Advantage. So let's tackle this question head on. Nadine here with Inspira Advantage, helping students get accepted into medical school and other professional programs. So when we're thinking about the best time to take the MCAT, the best approach is to jump to the end of the process and reverse engineer to find our date. So first, you want to think about when you want to apply to medical school. The AMCAS application opens in May and submission to medical schools begins at the start of June. Now remember, the medical school application process is lengthy. It really takes around 16 months from when AMCAS opens to when you would actually attend school. So if, for example, you want to apply to medical school in June 2024, the very latest you'll want to take the MCAT is April of 2023. With that said, we'd highly recommend that you take the MCAT before this date, and let me tell you why. The first item to consider is your MCAT score. Did you know that it takes roughly 30 days for your score to be released after your exam? So by taking the exam in April the year before you'll attend, your score will be released in time so you can include it in your application materials. So great, you might be thinking, well, why do I need to take the MCAT any earlier than this date? Well, did you know that around one quarter of all students who take the MCAT rewrite it? Now, it's not necessarily that all these test takers are failing the MCAT, but for many, they're just not happy with their test scores and may realize that they need a higher score to be considered competitive at the schools they want to apply to. So no one wants to take a seven and a half hour exam more than once. However, you definitely wanna give yourself the opportunity to retake the exam should you need to. It's better to retake the test to achieve a higher score than to submit your application with a less than ideal score. Another reason you'll want your MCAT score early is to help you decide which schools you should apply to. When you're creating your medical school list, you'll want to have safety schools, target schools, and reach schools. So knowing your MCAT score in advance is really going to help you narrow down your list of schools to apply to. Finally, taking your exam earlier than April the year before you'll attend allows you to separate your MCAT prep from the time you'll spend on your application. Personal statements, secondary essays, and the actual AMCAS application are no walk in the park. These items will require a lot of time. Time to reflect, to write, to edit, to rewrite, and so on. The last thing you'll want is trying to craft your application materials while trying to study for the MCAT. Now you know the latest date you should take the MCAT, but what is the ideal timeline for taking the MCAT during your sophomore year or during the summer between your sophomore and junior years? Why? Because at this time, you'll have completed most of your prerequisite courses, so you'll have a pretty firm grasp of the subject matter for the MCAT. Taking the MCAT early also gives you plenty of test date options. Most of the test dates fall between April and September. Now, with this said, perhaps the most important factor in determining exactly when you should take the MCAT comes down to your performance on practice tests. Take the MCAT when you are truly ready. Now, being ready means that you feel prepared and have been scoring consistently well during your practice tests. If your scores are still changing quite a bit between tests, devote more time to studying and practicing until you can gain that level of consistency. This way, when you take the actual test, you can expect a score more similar to how you've been scoring on your practice tests. Don't feel pressured to take the MCAT when others are taking it. Every student is different in terms of their preparedness, so trust yourself and take the MCAT when you feel confident to do so. Thanks for tuning in to this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for all the latest and greatest on the med school application process. Cheers to your success.